In the aftermath of Hurricane Helene, I had the wonderful privilege to visit some of the most devastated areas of our diocese and was able to meet with so many people who had been impacted by the storm. To a person, as, as grateful as they were for the many, many ways that so many of you have reached out and tried to make a difference in their lives to help them to rebuild, the things that they were most grateful for was the fact that they were alive and that their families were alive. It's really interesting that in the midst of such devastation, when everything else is stripped away, the things that mean the most come to the fore. That's what we celebrate. But that's not where we stop. As believers in Jesus, we want everyone to experience the fullness of life. And so you have been so powerful. You have been so gracious in helping these people to rebuild their homes, to rebuild their communities, to rebuild their parishes, and to be able to live life to the fullest again. On their behalf, I thank you tremendously for your generosity. You can't imagine the difference that you've made. But ultimately, all of us realize that it's our God who makes the greatest difference in our lives. He's the one that blesses us with life itself. And it's to him that we give all of the glory, all of the thanks, and all of the praise. To you, I share so much goodness, so much love that I've received from the people who have been supported. I pass that right back to you because you've made a difference in the lives of the people impacted by Hurricane Helene. Thank you so much.